it should be fine, right? Like it's yeah. not really a problem. And then realistically speaking, if I'm enemy jungle and my bot lane is gonna be in the brush and I want a leash, what am I gonna do? I'm probably gonna freak out or I'm probably gonna run it down or something, <laughs> right? Yeah. So I agree with you that 1% of the games you're gonna get cheesed because it starts top. Uh, but I think on average you can go like this because it just gives you such a good an advantage if you get faster to the lane. What's going on guys, Vizaz here and in this video we are going to learn how to carry hard on AD carry. The wave management, macro and rotation can still show you how you can also climb and carry very hard on AD carry. If this is the first time on my channel, my name is Bizaz and I will post on this channel videos that will make you better in League of Legends. So if you want to make sure 100% you don't miss out anything that is going to happen on this channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell plus like right now. I'm also a coach and, and I already hold 3,150 people to get better and improve. As you can see right here, I got people from bronze to platinum, from platinum to grandmaster, from bronze to diamond. This guy, for example, he got from gold to master tier with my coaching. If you also want some free coaching for a limited amount of time, I give free OPGG reviews on my stream. All what you have to do is go on my stream, twitch.tv, besides the lol, and follow the stream, say hi. Oh, let's take a look at your PGG. So where were we before we started uh, last time, the coaching? We were at the bottom of silver one. Okay, so we were silver one. And now, okay, let's see. So we were silver one, now we're gold three. What changed? Uh, I just am a lot more patient and... Uh... Uh, I just wait for people to make mistakes and I make sure that I recall at good times and I kind of control what the support is doing and make sure that like, uh, you know, I think about, okay, the bot, you know, junglers on bottom side. So like, I want to let the wave to me. So he's got, you know, an angle to gank, things like that. Okay. And, um, in general, I'm just, uh. Yeah, like, I, I don't really get ganked a lot anymore. Anymore, okay. Okay, okay, but okay. There's still some, like... There, you know, now it's getting to the point where, like... Like, I don't... The one game that I... That I shared a norm from yesterday, but then I shared a rank from, like, two days ago. And, uh... Yeah, I don't stay in grief, like, grief for places often. Okay. Okay. But, um, yeah. And I watch the fights, and I like, and I start rotating towards the fights. Um, um I see, I see, I see. Usually, just kind of staying where I'm at. I'll like take a couple minions as I watch a fight start, and then I'm like, okay, if it's a good one, I'll go join it. If it's a good one, okay, 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 okay. okay. And if it's not, I don't, and I go take, and I go do something else. Okay, that sounds good. That sounds good. So you gave me two VOD reviews, basically. Okay, yeah. so first of all, so our goal is Platinum 4, right? Yeah. I think. Okay, okay, okay. okay. You, you, last time you said you want to get past Gold 4, and then Gold 1 or Gold 2 would feel better, you said. So we got from Silver 2 or 1 to Gold 3. Okay, yeah. that is fine. Um... Obviously, you're gonna vary a bit. Maybe you're gonna go gold four, gold three, silver one again, gold one. You're gonna like this is a league. Like you're gonna lose sometimes, so it's not like yeah. you're gonna be gold three forever now. Uh, okay, good. So recall timings, understanding when we have to grip for a place, when we have to recall macro rotation, understanding when we have to group based on the wave, and understanding what fights to choose. Macro rotations and uh, and uh, understanding when to freeze and when to slow push. Sounds good. So these things. Do you sp particularly want to talk about uh, something? Uh, today or uh... no sounds good 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 this you mean gets caught right here <laughs> sounds good static sounds good man sounds good sounds good you have a question yeah sure 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 check them okay good so i want to take a look at this game to see what's going on yeah. first uh and then we go from there guys can you hear the music as well please let me know if it's if it's good if the if you can can hear the the guy and me well and music and everything. 
Welcome, welcome, Gan, welcome. Meta, is it you? Okay, perfect. So, tell me more about this game. Uh, I don't remember a whole lot about this game because it was two days ago. Oh, oh no, no, no. This is the norm from yesterday. I, I think. Uh, yeah, I think this is the norm from yesterday. And uh, it's just really rough because um, this morgue is, I think the morgue was like gold four and the Ez was I don't know, silver one or something. But the this lane just sucks because I can't, I got Ez I can always get away. And, um, and then morgue who's got the, you know, binding to stop my, like it's really, I have to wait for all the spells to get blown to even do something. And so I just feel like I'm trapped in this lane and like this it's game. trapped to see. We ended up losing because I just didn't know how to like, you know, I had a good farm, but I just never got to do anything worthwhile in the game. I see, I see, I see. But what is your goal when you play with the Yumi on bot lane? I don't know. I, I don't like playing with Yumi, so. So thinking it's about bad. this this champion, what does she do in the lane? She just heals you. Yeah. And pokes them. Yeah, okay, so is, 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 would you play Yumi to like, like play aggressive or get kills in the lane? Uh, I, ideally. Okay, so you're saying that when you pick Yumi, you, you, you want to like play aggressive with Yumi, right? Or do you think it's a champion that you, you'd rather play to scale? Uh, well, both, but in this case, I just thought I was just going to be trapped in lane without a whole lot to do because of we're against yes so there are three types of supports basically the supports that perma scale the supports that perma fight and the supports that are in the middle for example when you play for example when you play pike you so let's say here it's scale and heal is mm -hmm. full fight where do you think pike stands um, pike wants to fight I yes like, and i actually like playing with a good pike cause... so pike is here it's yeah. right here at the edge of the... It's full fight. Um, yeah. Okay, true. Uh, what about Janna? Uh, Janna's towards the scale side. Yeah, so she's not... She's the scale side. She's right here. Like, she can fight, but not ideally. And then you have yeah, things like... She can catch them. And if she catches them, I can, Yes, I can yes. She has fight. a small chance, yeah. And then you have, like, Nami, which is still Enchanters. But yeah. it's more about I want to trade, so it's about here, and you have yeah. like Lulu that is in the middle, meaning that with Lulu you can fight. Uh, Nami same thing, sorry, Nami same thing. You can fight, but you can also scale. And you have Yumi right. that is right here, like full scale. You can also yeah. put the Yumi here, so you can say yeah, but I can win the lane. True, but the champion is not designed to win the lane. So if you're playing Tristana with Yumi in the lane and you're trapped in the lane. And you're gonna like what is your job ideally to just scale up true and who's gonna win and, late game if okay if i did that i we just never made it to late game i think this game was over at 25 minutes mm -hmm, i see so the problem is that uh what the mid top jungle were behind yeah my kid was playing he was just feeding his face off true but then you have to ask yourself what is the alternative because you have yumi and they have morgana israel yeah uh, I mean, I was just trying to get out of the laning phase, and like right after laning phase got over this game, like by by the time laning phase ended, like it was over. There's just not a lot to do. Okay, 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 okay. So your question about this game is, uh, what should I have been doing? I see, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. So you played safe with Yumi, right? You were trapped in the lane with Yumi, so you're yeah. zero, zero, zero. Uh, and yeah. you're saying that, so, did you do your job in this lane? If this is Challenger, what does the Challenger Tristana thinks about this lane compared to the enemy lane? What is he going to plan out? Uh, he'd probably say, yeah, you did just fine. True, true. You so, and... exactly. Because you had Yumi, you couldn't really do much. as more than like farm and if you have an opening to jump, you just jump. Uh, yeah. So the alternative here, what you're saying is that, but my team inted, so I had to do something. Well, the thing is, if you're trying to force something and you die, game is completely over. 
if you try to scale, you have a very tiny chance to win. Yeah. So you can be like, okay, I will play accordingly. I'll play like, I need to play with Yumi. I'll play like our champions are designed to play together, like which is scale. And unless Morgana misses a bind or I have a good opening to go in, I'll chill. Or I can force, but the moment I die, we FF 10 minutes because we already lose. Because right now, everyone is losing. But, uh, I mean, you have a small chance to carry if you get a shutdown or, you know, there is a there is a chance. Okay. Yeah. Yes. So Even... I, had 100, I basically had 100 farm at 12 minutes. Like, I was doing... Yes. Yes, 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 yes. So... That being said, theoretically, you fundamentally played the lane right. But we're going to okay. see that there are many things that you could have done better. Even though you shouldn't be... Like, the fact that you are not stomping really hard with Yumi shouldn't tell you, uh, I'm bad, man. I'm like, I, Why am I not winning the lane? Because you're playing with Yumi. Like, it's not really... Being even with Yumi is winning. But why? Okay. Why uh, is it like this? Which is... Yeah, scaler. yeah. If you're zero zero zero, you're gonna win. So it's easy. Yeah, we're gonna have to to talk about a lot of Tristana specifics. First of all, I see you pl you're preferring heal a lot. Uh, yeah. What's the reason? Uh, so all the guides say it. Oh, sorry. I said all the different guides just say. Ah, Chris okay. Heal. Oh, really? What what guys did you or did you look at the YouTube? Uh, just the I, I don't know what sites they are. The ones that I'll look up builds here and there, um, or the built-in thing to um, base check or whatever. Hello guys, hello guys, hello guys, welcome. I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. So, mm. oh, the face check. Ah, you you have the app. I see. Ah, okay, okay, okay. And they were telling you to go heal every game. Yeah, that is true for bronze and silver. But the more you're gonna go on the ladder, the more changes you have to make in terms of uh, little things like runes. For example, if you're gold, I will never talk about items really, because if you play with one build every single game, I believe that you can easily get to diamond four. Okay, but yeah, once... I was just playing with the same build. Yes, like Kraken. I know, Kraken, I know. <laughs> but once you're gonna get to D4, I will start telling you that this might more and more hold you back if you're not adapting your build. It's the same thing with runes. If you're Iron 4, I will tell you then you should go for heal because heal is the easiest to use. It's the most yeah. consistent in every game. But then if you're playing gold, I would be like, well, you have to adapt it. Do you need exhaust? Do you need cleanse? I mean... You gotta take it, you know, because heal is good, but what if you play against Samira? I mean, you need exhaust. Heal is good, but what if you play against Varus and uh, Ash? I mean, maybe you can consider yeah. going cleanse. So, you know, I have so. My R for Samira. She's not usually a problem. I, True. I, I usually am okay with those lanes. But what about, what about like, uh, if she did it, if you don't have R or if she, if she uses W? Oh, yeah, then we just stay away from her. Yes, huh? and what if she has not? Uh, and I always watch for her W because I can't do anything until her W is gone. But... Yes, 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 yes. So you see, the heal might have value, but you might yeah. you can take some other things that give you even more value. I wouldn't say heal is bad. Heal is okay, but it can take a summon spell that is really good. So in this case, what do you think is the summon spell that... What do you think are the options for Tristana? Uh... Probably Barrier and Cleanse are the two that come to mind. Um, barrier, what's the difference between Barrier and uh, Heal? Uh, I know when I'm jumping in, I'm going to take some burst damage. Um, and especially if they have something like uh, Anti-Heal. So isn't... Game. Okay, Barrier is going to help you with, against Anti-Heal? Yeah, well, it's going to help me when I jump in and I, you know, and they get the burst damage. True, and, uh, true, true. Okay, uh, but okay, sure, 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 sure. What, what uh, else? Like what uh, other than that you can go? Uh, probably exhaust. True. When do you take exhaust? Um, probably against like high 
first chance. Like who? Well, like a Samira. True. Or... Samira, Draven, Lucian, yeah. Nami, stuff like that. And yeah. some people will also be like, if they have like a Samira, but they also have like Fizz mid lane, that would be a yeah. good combination. Or sometimes they could have Ezreal bot lane, so you can be like, okay, but I don't need exhaust. But then I will tell you, yeah, but they have Fizz and Draven and top lane Z. So you could consider taking the summer spell for the later stages. If, if there are multiple targets that uh, are like pressuring you with the, their all in. Of course, I wouldn't I take buy, it. Mm -hmm. I'll buy the armor boots if... Uh, I'll buy the armor boots if like they're all AD. I do kind of I switch see. things up. True, but... Against the, the assassins, do you think that 20 armor is gonna make difference if Zed is gonna 100 to 0 you? No. Because it could, but what if Zed, Riven, Fizz, go, they all go on you? You know, this is yeah. when an exhaust can not save you, but you can buy some time, you know? Yeah. So today we learned that we're gonna go into replay pretty soon. We learned that the summoner spell should be adapted based on the game. So, for example, in this game, you can say that for the lane, you have Misfort and Pike. They don't have too much all-in. So Exhaust is decent, but not the best. Heal is good. Heal is always good. And then, so you have Heal, Exhaust, or if you play a super scale matchup, but you know all what you do is scaling, you could also go Ghost. But I don't think we're there yet. Yes, some Challenger players, when they play with Yumi, they go Ghost every time because they just want to scale. But I, I recommend you to first, since you only played with Heal, I think that the next step is playing with Exhaust and playing with uh, Cleanse. And then the next next step would be playing with Ghost, but we're not there yet. So yeah. here you could get Exhaust. Uh, heal is also fine. The reason why you could get Exhaust is because uh, it, can, it can help you in lane. When you jump, you use Exhaust and she's, I mean, what can she do? Uh, and second of all, you can use it against Ari, Kindred and Yon, the Exhaust, you see? then. This game, what do you think you should take here? First of all, the lane face is the most important. So the, the in the lane, what do you think we should take here? So how is exhaust against Caitlyn? Does she have burst, all in potential, or when you when you say Caitlyn? She has burst. She has. She's got you know that combo she can do. True. Are you gonna be lane. able to exhaust her in time, judging of her range and judging her like if you play against an Ash, and you're like okay, but she has ulti, she has burst. True, but are you going to be able to exhaust Ash if she goes on your max range? Uh, well, Ash or Ash, Caitlyn, they are the word, the word the same. If I, it, well, well, with Caitlyn, it depends. I usually can get close enough. I would think that I can get close enough to Caitlyn to exhaust her. And then with Ash, if she sees right when I jump and ults right when I jump, then I'll be too far away. Yes, so usually... So I have to get close enough to get caught yes. by her, by Caitlyn's net. So, so I think I would be able well, to. if she, if she, if Pike hooks you and she puts the trap and she's max range, you're not going to be able to exhaust her, really. Yeah. So, again, super long range, I wouldn't force exhaust, like in this lane, for example. Yeah. Uh, it's a bit long range. Okay, you could say that, okay, but it helps me against Cassio, yeah, but it doesn't help you against Sejuani and Sante. So I think exhaust here is a bit forced. In this case, you can just... If you're not sure that exhaust is going to be one-sidedly going to help you, heal is fine. Or what other summon spell do you think is good here? Uh, cleanse. Cleanse, but why? For the pike, uh, stun. True. For Ari, um, for... Trap or Sej alt. Or, yeah. Well, uh... the trap is not really that big of a deal, but definitely. Uh, here, Sejuani ulti is the best, and Pike E, yeah, Pike E, Pike Ignite, but the main point is uh, the cleanse is good against Sejuani. So heal and cleanse here, whatever you're comfortable on, is very good. Uh, but yes, we, so in this specific case, what do you think we should get? Barrier is bad, by the way, because Barrier only kind of does the same thing with heal, but heal is better because it saves your teammates. Barrier is more about like selfishness, which again, is decent, but I wouldn't do it in solo queue. So in this lane, what do you think is better here then? Uh, probably exhaust. Okay, so exhaust through why? Um, because if I do get binded and they do try to come get me, I can stop the most damage. But what about the range of the Q? 
because if he stays max range and he, he's binding on you and he doesn't e into you will you be able to exhaust him uh, i don't know so you will have to play a little bit of exhaust and you will see that you're not going to be able to exhaust these targets that don't directly dash into you or auto attack you because Estelle doesn't auto attack you really he cues you yes he can be stupid and walk up and auto attack you but i don't want to rely on that so usually in lanes like this exhaust is a bit greedy caitlin ash Ezreal, it's it's unrealistic that you can exhaust yes lucian if lucian doesn't dash into you he doesn't do damage so against lucian you get exhaust Against Draven, he has to get on top of you. Against Samira, he has she has to get on top of you. So against these champions, exhaust is good. You can never go with go wrong with exhaust anyways, because the moment you jump, if you use exhaust, what's gonna happen? Their damage goes way down. Yes, and, plus and, and they're slowed. And they're slowed, really... exactly. So you can't go wrong with exhaust anyways if you play a dash champ like Tristana Lucian. Uh yeah. but another option is right here for uh, for this. Cleanse. Cleanse. Why do you think cleanse is, the, is fine here? For the Morg binding. Yeah. Or for the mist from Yorick. Yeah, is exactly. It, I don't know if it cleanses the mist from Yorick or that. Yeah. Exactly. Well, Yorick is a bit like he doesn't. He just has a cage. You can't cleanse that. And like Yorick is not you really. Can the cage too. The cage. You can cleanse it. No, no, no. no. You can't cleanse oh, the cage. Okay. You can't yeah, cleanse anything. Bad. You can't cleanse anything. The cage. Yeah. yeah. So. It's for Morgana because and Morgana is really important in this lane. So it's, it's it's the the main main primary thing that can they can do to initiate the fight. Uh, her binding. Yeah. Okay, so right here, is there any reason why you go long way here like this? Instead of the short way. Yeah. I always go the long way. You always go the long way. Uh huh. Okay, what's the reason just, of that? Just to stop the cheese. I just, just to stop the cheese. Did you get cheese in the last 30 games that you played? Uh, no, because I took the long way. I see, but what is the disadvantage of this? Uh, I don't know. I don't get the, I, I can't go and get the push started. The push for level True. 2. Do you think the push for level 2 when playing Tristana is important at all? Oh yeah, if... It depends on what champs I'm into, but yeah. So... But in this case, I was like, this is just going to be a farm lane. And so... Um, I mean, I, I also didn't put much thought into which way I went, because that's just the way I go. Um, I, see. Time. I see. I see, I, I see, I see. The main dis no so the main disadvantage is that you're going to get able to a lot later. And you can say that, okay, but I have Yumi. Well true but if you get able to advantage and all in at them and then then you heal up a lot with yumi it should be fine right like it's yeah. not really a problem and then realistically speaking if i'm enemy jungle and my bot lane is gonna be in the brush and i want a leash what am i gonna do i'm probably gonna freak out or i'm probably gonna run it down yeah, or something yeah. <laughs> right yeah. so i agree with you that one percent of the games you're gonna get cheese because it starts top uh but i think on average you can go like this because it just gives you such a good an advantage if you get faster to the lane that it even if you're gonna die one out of ten games nine games you're gonna win level two advantage and you're gonna win nine games lose one game i'm fine it's fine yes some lanes and some challenger players they prefer if enemy team has a composition that is obnoxious level one like Zaya Rakan, uh, or uh, let's say play Kaisa Nautilus, or they play something very strong level 1, you can word, not now, like around 0 0.50 seconds in the game, you word that brush preemptively. Mm -hmm. Wait, you use the word. Where did you use the word? I used it because they were invading. Ah, okay. Yeah, uh, so... You know, and Yumi got caught, and so I knew that they were coming I see, I see, I see, I see. So you can use the same word in Tribash, basically. But you should yep. always go a short way if you can, because it gives you such a good advantage. Okay, okay and here... Um, I mean, also, Ezreal, Morgana, if they cheese, they do zero damage. They just have poke. So if they try to fight long fight, you hard win, because you have a lot of bursts. With Tristan, they have Halo Blades, you win really hard. Um, yep. Okay. Longsword versus Kal versus Doran's Blade. Did we talk about this? We talked about it a little bit, but I don't. I didn't remember what 
the thing was. We need to write. I need to write that one down. Okay. I just always do arm blade now. I see. So, what is the difference between them, in your opinion? <clears throat> Doran Blade gives you a little bit of health regen. Um, True. And health. Well, it gives you health and uh, yes. attack damage. Yes. And the longsword? And, and longsword th and three pots gives you a lot of just like sustain, but not, you don't get the HP. Yes. Right? So, so, usually, if you play a lane where you need the HP, and that is a lane where it, it ha like inquires like all in, like say they have Nautilus. Uh, or uh, Blitzcrank, you're gonna like the three potions are not gonna help you if you get hooked, but what's gonna yeah. help you is the HP. So, in into all in lanes, you always go for donors, into poke lanes, you always go for three potions and longsword because so this would be considered a, a poke lane, yeah. Well, considering that Ezreal is a poke lane and Morgana has the Q potential, but I wouldn't consider Morgana a full all in champion. I would say that Ezra Morgana, I wouldn't be super scared of their all in. They have some, but it's not really so scary. I would go three potions. There are some pro players that prefer Cal plus one potion if it's like a really scaling matchup, which again, Ezreal is not really gonna be scary in the lane. Plus, you have Yumi. So, some pro players would prefer Cal in this case. Scale, get, get Ghost. So, if this is a challenger, uh, uh, he definitely goes Ghost. Cal, play safe. He has a Yumi. For you in gold, mm, people are gonna fight. You have Yumi, but people are gonna fight. They're gonna go on the river, they're gonna throw their head on the ground, they will try to fight, they will... So I wouldn't recommend this for like below D1. It's a bit of on engaged champions, like the well, evolution. I, I had a lot of success running cold as I cruised back through. Uh, super. Yes, just, yes, yes. So just, it's good in, in I, super low elo. In super low elo, it's good. I would say that in gold, it's probably better to just get something that helps you to all in bear. Yeah. Because the call is more safe. So if you're going to fight, because trust me, your teammates are going to start fighting, you're going to regret that you don't get the extra AD. So yeah. here we get a little bit late in the lane, as you can see. Also, you shouldn't really put your E here. You shouldn't really level up your E because now there are going to be cases where you try to last hit one minion and you screw up all of the minions. Like right now. So, like what I'm saying is basically putting your, leveling up your E this preemptively. Sometimes when the three minions are like this one is like 40%, this one is like 20% and this one is 10%. Hitting this yeah. one is going to screw up this one and then this one yeah. as well. So what I would do, I would wait, I would not level up, I would last hit the minion. And if I see that I'm about to get in a fight or I need my E, I instantly level up and I just go. But I wouldn't really level up this fast. I try to be more slow. Yeah. So you're trying to push. This is good. Right here, the E, what was the, the reason of this E right here? I was pushing for two. Pushing and for two. Uh, and because Morg started to step up. Okay, okay, and okay. Like and, and so I was just like, I'm and, gonna clear this wave before they try anything. Okay, so you, so this also prevents them from getting level two, right? Yeah. Okay, so what is the disadvantage though of the of the E on the minions like this? Well, now I'm not gonna be able to have my level two all in. True. About it okay. Of who I was against. Yeah, exactly. So. You have Yumi, you're gonna stay, like Morgana threat is not really that scary because you can just play into the minions. But what's the yeah. disadvantage usually when you're using your E on the minions? Uh, I might miss some when it explodes. Yes, but then what are they gonna do? What are they gonna try to do if you use E on the minions? They might try to come in on me. Exactly, so be careful. In this specific situation, it's good to use your E because you lost the prio, like they pushed a little bit faster than you because they got faster here. So you want to yeah. kind of equal it up uh, by pushing, but be careful because yeah. every single time when you're using your E on the minions, you're wasting your pressure and they could theoretically yeah. all in you. Yes, in this lane is good because how they are they going to all in you? Just sit behind the minion, they have an Ezreal, Morgana Binding is not going to be able to hit. So it's good in this particular lane, but this is a bad habit that you have and I'll show you because okay. if you do it here, it's good. But if you do it when you're going to be able to have a potential kill pressure on them, it's very, yeah. very bad. Very, very, very I bad. I never usually E the first wave. Okay, ever. I see. I but see, I see, I see. I, just, I was just like... I see. Okay, I just so. wanted to stop them and make sure... Like, so this is good. Like they were just this is really good. This is really good. 
this is really good. You're playing it slow, good positioning, you miss two minions. Uh, you'd go for the Morgana for the E there, very, very good. You stay behind the minions, very good positioning. Beautiful positioning right here. Wave is coming into you right now. Try to go a little bit on Morgana, that is good. That is very, very nice. And then you, you get bind. This is, this is overall fine. It's overall very fine what you did. And then you try to W, missed it. Uh, right here, your E just uh, ran uh, out. We, we were a bit slow on that. I think if you have clans here, look at this. Yeah. Well, how is this play gonna look? Yeah, I would have been able to get that last <laughs> pop -pop Yes, and she yes. And going back to base. Yes, 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 yes. So you cleanse instantly here. You jump and GGBG. You jump and you get our flash here, minimum. It's fine. You tried. Let's see what's gonna happen right now. Okay, we get binded again. Okay, let's yeah, see. Yeah, like, her binding's up again. That was. Okay, so you didn't know. Okay, so right now when you get right. binded, let's see. What, what is the first thing that you should be doing right here? Start auto attacking the S. True, 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 true. How much damage does Ezreal do? And how how does he do damage? Uh, weaving auto tanks and Qs. True, and, true, true. So how. W, but he had already got me with the W. Okay, so how does he do? So. What kind of damage is Ezreal? Burst, all in, poke, uh, DPS, then poke. poke. Extended, it's poke and extended DPS. Extended DPS. DPS. So how, how how much should you damage would you say you're gonna take right here? Uh, probably half my health bar. Uh, half half of the of what you have right now. Half of the remaining. So what should you be doing right now, other than l like auto attacking here? Um, well, I started to back up, but just making sure I clear this wave and back up. So right now, what should he be doing right now? Because he's hitting you. You're going to clear the wave here? Yeah. At this position, at this specific point. So he's saying he's killing you, he's hitting you, but you're going to hit the minions, right? That's what you're saying? Well, if I hit the one, it's going to blow up and hit and kill most of them. And then keep back. I don't want all those minions attacking me. Okay, so you're saying that when he's killing you, you're hitting the minions. Just one auto attack. True, but then you're just waste, gonna waste time. He's gonna do yeah. two auto attacks in the meantime when you do auto, one auto attack. Plus the minions are pretty far away from them. They're not gonna hit you. You're gonna just kite back anyways. This is the range of the minions right now. So they have to walk if they wanna hit you. But you're gonna you're not gonna stand still. You're gonna kite. So my 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 uh, question is: Is he gonna kill you right here? No. True. Is it close? No. No. So you shouldn't use the flash. You shouldn't use the flash here. For those of you who are struggling winning and climbing a solo queue but are serious about getting better, I also do coaching for players that want to improve and get their gameplay to the next level. Coaching can't make you better if you just play normals and arms and don't like playing ranked or you don't care about improving, you just play for fun or let's say you just play the game for like 3 hours, maybe 4 hours per week and that's about it. Coaching doesn't help. Coaching can help you if you feel hard stuck, if you struggle carrying games, if you want to stop wasting time autopiloting and not learning anything, if you run into a circle for a long time, if you want to find out the mistakes that hold you back, or simply maybe you have problems with the way you manage, maybe you feel lost throughout the mid game, maybe you struggle with the decision making, macro, and you just want to learn how to do it properly from a professional coach. Or let's say you have difficulties tracking the enemy jungle and you die a lot to ganks. Or simply maybe you just want to learn how to carry 1 versus 9 so you can actually climb and stop really wasting time. So what are you waiting for? Go ahead and book your own coaching now and start improving instantly. I'll see you in the session.